Today is the day. I finally get the chance to go after the fastest fish in the ocean, the sailfish. It's early August and conditions are perfect for sails here in Stewart, Florida. The water's still and a warm Aiden breeze. There's just a slight breeze coming from the south and the skies are clear. The bait is plentiful and my friend Aiden Natalie has been dialed in on the sails. His confidence that we will be successful in our pursuit today feeds my excitement. All we need now is for one to get teased up and take the bait. Simple as that. But who am I kidding? This is sail fishing. And at any moment, things could quickly become pure chaos, which is exactly what I'm hoping for. After all, it wouldn't be sail fishing without a little pandemonium. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products. Wind falls out a little more. Oh my god, someone's gonna turn Slick on the sun. out. It's gonna be toasty. Uh, I think we'll get some AC right now. Ready to run? Yeah, let's get out of here. All right. Cut the outriggers out. We're good to go. on up there. I'll get these sabikis going. All right, got you a couple of sabikis right here. I'm gonna throw some leads on them. Already got a mess of boats here, hammering these baits. Mm. Something a little unique to us, but not the most fun thing to deal with. Cool. We'll roll up, grab our baits, run out. Yeah, this is pretty relaxed right now. Wednesday vibes, you know, it's a little chill. Nobody's angry. It's not Sunday, Saturday. It's not a race. Come Saturday, Sunday, though, it's a race. Oh, you're crushing it, Jonathan. Straight over the well. I'll start with the top hook. Top hook, rod tip down, just kind of load them up. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products, is brought to you by Florida Fishing Products, Icon Coolers, Denko Flyers, Temple Fork Outfitters, Skinny Water Culture, and Go Castaway Fishing Charters. So right now, we're gonna set up the long rigger here. So we're gonna have two long baits. So this is gonna be our first one going out in the rear clip here. You're gonna do two long, two short, and two the short's long. just outside the dredge? Yep, so after, once we have these two long baits going out, we are then going to set up the dredge after that. And that way, you know, we can kind of stagger everything in a very efficient manner. All right, so if you want, just cast it out, and I'll we'll run her in the clip. And then you can kind of keep letting it go. We only kind of want these baits about 50 feet to 40 feet behind the boat. Even though it's still pretty close, these fish all are just within the area, basically. They're not, you know, they don't mind the boat. They don't mind getting close. Now we can go ahead and set the dredges up. And it's as simple as just tossing her in the water. She does all the work, the rest. And then we'll... Love it, man. Up that on the rigger. Look out. It's just reflecting that sunlight. I mean, sometimes they, they look so cool and they're so light up on the water, I look back a lot of times, I'm like, oh my God, there's a fish. No, it's the dredge. We'll fire this bait right behind the dredge. Here, let me bump give, us. give us a bump. You see kind of how fast yep. we'll drift. 
the hold. So we fire him. See the dredge right there? He'll sit, you know, a couple feet behind the dredge and look nice and tasty for Mr. Sale to come up and give him a sniff. Nice and tasty for Mr. Sale. I like that, bro. That's how we like to see. All right. We're going to get one come up here in a second. That might be a sail. That, that's a sail. What is it? Oh, it's a good dolphin. Let's go. Did it spit? No, it's tight. It's tight. It's tight. Don't, don't, don't punch it too much. Don't be too punchy with it. That's a good dolphin. That's a good dolphin, guys. Oh, it's a big bite. Look at him airing out. Oh, well, I guess what? He ate both of did our baits. Did he eat both baits? <laughs> did he? He threw this yeah. one. Nope, no, I'm still on. Here, clear this line here. Keep attention. That's actually a good dolphin. Like, that'll, that'll be a good, great fish. I'm gonna give this a Hey, bump. listen, the best bycatch you can have no, when you're sail fishing is dolphin, brother. Especially in 70 feet. That's crazy. That's a Watch this dredge cool. here. Watch this dredge Ready? here. I'm gonna bring the dredge in, Jonathan. It is lit up, too. Oh, nice Look little. Look how lit up that thing is. Woo, look at the Ready? blue. Oh. It broke off. Took it. Took it. Pulled right there. Pulled right there to the boat. That was a sinky, dude. It was pretty sick. I mean, regardless of it shaking. Airborne. I thought it was a sail I at first. I thought we had a sail. He came in pretty green. I, he, it's a good little show. That's all that matters. Got a little something out of him. And now, the conservation challenge with Captain Jonathan Moss. Today we are at the Moat Marine Aquarium Mammal Center, at, specifically at the Sea Turtle Hospital, and I'm with my good friend, this is Lynn Bird, who works here directing uh, directly with the turtles, just like this one. This is Montego, which is a loggerhead turtle. And what can anglers do when they're out on the water if they do see an injured turtle? Sure, so um, some of the tragedies that can happen to these turtles are boat strikes. That's a huge number. I think 20% of sea turtles that come in to rehab are from boat strikes. So be aware of your environment. Um, fishing gear, a lot of our animals come in with gear wrapped around their flippers or they've ingested it. Um, turtles have to have two good eyes and three good flippers to go back out there. So um, the best thing to do is just be aware. Wear polarized sunglasses so you can see. Stay in marked channels. Be aware that you, uh, of what may be popping up around you. These guys are air breathers. So they have to come up. They also are reptiles, so they bask at the surface a lot to warm up. So just, you know, again, clean up after yourself. Wear polarized glasses. Follow your speed limits out there. Um, and remember, you know, they, that's their home out there. Yeah, that is their home. I tell you where I spend most of my time in the ski lagoon, I don't see turtles often, uh, but if I did run across one that was injured, do we call FWC, do we call Mo? what is the best thing Absolutely, to best thing to do is call FWC and then they'll reach out to the local stranding uh, group to come and get the animal. Awesome, I love it. I love what's going on here and the re rehabilitation and just caring for these animals and and seeing what they're going through and how you guys are fixing that problem and releasing them back wild, it's so awesome. Thank you. Hold this, put it in bump. That was very sus. Flip the bail and kind of put some pressure on the line and just don't let it out, but just kind of hold it in case it comes back and wax it. Does he feed it, kind of feed him, feed him, feed him for a second? All right, come tight to him. That's the sail, 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 we got him. Sail, we got him. We got him. Start reeling, start reeling. We're across. We're across. I'm still tight. He's coming right at us. All right, let him run. Kind of let him run. You let him do his thing. Let him do his thing. We got to sail low, brother. You're good, bro. You're good. We still got this fish. Look at him airing out, bro! Woo! That was so sick, dude! All right, we're gonna get you to the front of the boat. Glad we got him on the Florida fishing product. Yeah. That's so absolutely awesome. Bring in that dredge. We need the dredges in. And I'll run to the bow. We're gonna get you to the bow of the boat. We're gonna fight the fish from the bow of the boat. All right, ready, Jonathan? Here we go. Ready to start, get ready to start taking line. So you're gonna kinda, you can kinda tighten up just a little on him. Don't put too much heat on him, though. And I'm gonna start, we're gonna start 
Oh, he's getting, getting high. He's coming reeling. up. John, you got about 200 yards of line out right now. We just want to keep that line tight as possible. If we keep any sort of bow in it, that hook could just fall right out of that fish's mouth. So if we just keep it tight and you keep reeling, I know your arms are probably burning right now, but just keep it tight and that's all we got to do. I'm going to keep eyeing up to it. And as soon as you kind of tell me that the line's tight again, we'll slow down and kind of let the fish and you do their thing and then just kind of let it happen. Fish will come to the boat. We'll get a quick release on him and get some photos and we Ready to rock and roll and catch another. Bro, we can't ask for a better day. We got a dolphin up high earlier. We got turtles up here with us. A few bonitas getting crushed. And now the main attraction, my friend. All right, you're coming tight to him now, Jonathan? Sail's right here. He's right here. He's coming up top. Yeah, so you're right, right now your tail wrap. So we kind of just want to keep it light. He's going to kind of drag you a little bit. And we're just gonna kind of let him do his thing, okay, John? Yeah, I went ahead and lighten the drag just yep, a little bit perfect. as well. That's all you gotta do. Bro, that was unbelievable. To see him come up and smoke I mean, it, we just ran behind it. The, the, it what, what's amazing about right this right is that we just You're never about to know run what him over. Do. You're about to run him over. Uh, Look is, at that. Is he kind of relaxed, Jonathan? Is he in a relaxed mood? Yeah, right he's now? chilling. All right, we're gonna maybe try to get ready to wire this fish. All right. John, what's gonna happen? You're gonna kind of give me the, the main leader of the line there, and we're gonna try to wire this fish up. Oh, he's so tail wrapped. Take your time, take your time. Ah, Look at that. Tail dude. wrapped completely. Then being tail wrapped, man, we gotta pop him off. Yeah, I know. We no, pop I... him off. We wanna take care of this fish. Unfortunately, we, you know, we put the fish first. And sometimes, you know, we're not going to be able to get a picture of every fish, but this fish being tail wrapped, we're, we're dragging hey, the fish in reverse. I got plenty of pictures right here, brother. Exactly. It's a that memory was a, that That matters. was an incredible I mean, the fish first coming up like experience. that. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. That's bro. a memory that's going to last a lifetime. And he jumped, dude. He tail walked several times. He was going crazy. I Some of them are not, or at least all of them aren't that angry. That was an angry one. That was some of the ones that we talked about. That was a picture perfect right there. Yeah, you were saying last night, they're gonna come up angry or they're gonna be super chill. And there was nothing chill no, about that, that fish. That fish was far he's, from chill. Okay, he's right, right here. we're gonna try to get it, gonna try to wire him. Ready, give me a leer. Uh, yeah, no, there he goes. Perfect, perfect. perfect. Right. Hey, right there. right there. My man, right here. dude. That is my dog. Come on, first one, first fish with the Yes, bell. sir. We did it. Hey. Pressure's off, yeah. let's get another one. That was epic. That was so epic. <laughs> oh right, my god, there's something about the sound pick. Oh, oh dude, yeah. and again, like I said, just seeing him just he's coming across. Catwalking. Oh, oh, he's so going sick. crazy. So hey, sick. you know what? It's still early. You know, we've got plenty of time. We got plenty awesome, of time. Dude. All right, let's All right, rig. Let's get to it. And now, the Tackle Vox Tip with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Icon Coolers. So let's talk about Sailfish 101. We have four rods out, two longs, one on either side of the boat, so a left long, a right long, and then two shorts. The shorts are just beyond the dredge. The dredge is hooked to electric reels that are on the front of the boat. The dredge is simply a group of mylar piled together, bait fish are printed on it, so it's flashing in the water, it attracts the bait, we're bump trolling, meaning we're in and out of gear, we're continuing to move, but just, at a, just a little bit faster than the current, keeps the boat moving, keeps the lines tight, just fast enough to keep these baits swimming, but doesn't drown them. Sailfish 101, if you guys can accomplish this, figure this little system out, it's not hard. First time I've been out here doing this, it's not a hard concept to figure out, it just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of practice, and you can get it done. Holy crap, you came in. You're bit, you're bit. You can go, you can go tighten up. You can tighten up. Be careful, be light with it, be light with it. Let him dip, let him dip. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. We got fish on, boys! Loosen up a little, you're, you sound way too tight. Oh, we're, we're tight again. Shoot, okay. Look at him, look at him running at us. Look at him, look at him, boys. Come on, Aiden, come on, Aiden. I'm getting spread out of the way. Look at this fish. I can. Coming right oh, at he's us. Coming, coming at us. right at us. Here. I don't have enough hands. Still swimming, still tight, still oh, tight. No! Woo oh, <laughs> he swam straight at the boat. Oh. I could not keep up with him. 
That thing came in like a rocket ship. I, you want me to go to the front? You want to clear? I'm almost, we're almost clear. On. We're almost clear. I'm a one-man team clearing a lot of rods. Clear. And the chaos of having to clear all of those lines. Nice work, Aiden. Perfectly hooked, man. Perfectly hooked. The last one we had tail wrapped. It was perfectly hooked, but got tail wrapped when it was tail walking. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Come on. And then when it got boat side and it laid sideways, forward, oh my goodness. And it that, what, that fin, that sail flared out. It was un. Unbelievable. That is a moment I will always remember. No, this fish is absolutely beautiful. I mean, personally speaking, I think most sails are actually prettier than everybody's favorite fish, the mahi-mahi. I mean, the dark purples, the blacks, the browns, I mean, you never know what you're gonna see. I mean, even some of these fish come in lit with aqua blue stripes going down the back of them. I mean, they are unbelievable fish. Come up here, come up here, he's close. All right, ready, we're gonna get ready to wire it. Here we go, back up, back up from the gun. I think it's gonna be it. Start backing, making it back towards the rear. Come on this side of the dredge. Gotcha, Actually, gotcha. we're gonna have to go over with the dredge. Over with the rod. Good. Sorry, right, sorry. Come on, pretty girl. Come up here and see us. We just wanna say hello. She's gonna die on the boat. Hold on. Stay there, stay there, stay there. We're gonna try to keep it right here, okay, Jonathan? Yeah, we're down on the other side with lighting. These are one of the annoying ones. Yeah, this fish is angry. He don't want to quit. You know, the first one was bigger, and, and it didn't fight like this one. The sailfish have nothing to do with size. Every fish is a little more spunkier than the other. Well, this I, one's definitely got some spunk. Oh, 100%. I mean, every fish is different when it comes to these guys. It, it, it's crazy. I'm not quitting, fish. Come on. You know, as we were rigging up last night, you said there's two types of sails. The ones that are angry and the ones that are chill. And brother, today we have got the ones that were angry. For sure. He is not making it easy for us. Look at, look, 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 look. Yeah, that was so sick, bro. Sometimes they have no give up, zero whatsoever. This fish is a fine definition of that. I'm so used to tarpon fishing. I'm bound to that fish. <laughs> hey, it's no different. He's still a king. Take your time. Take your time. Look at that thing. Look at that thing, brother. Wow. I miss you back. I miss you back. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that fish. God, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's why we go. Okay. Okay. Wow. No, man. Yes, sir. All yes, right. sir. All right, here we go. Ready? There we go. Look at that. There. Man, wow. What a fish. He's, he's wanting to go. Ready? Yep. You ready? Yep. See Later, buddy. All right, hey, that's bro. how we properly do it. What a day, my friend. We worked hard for that one, and that was all worth it, dude. Yeah, that was amazing. What an incredible fish. That's why fish. we do it. They are beautiful species, and I'll say that over and over again. That was absolutely epic. The colors, the eat, the fight, the jumps. Uh, 
and it's a all fish team that effort. was resilient that didn't want to give up. Team effort. You run in the boat. We're bringing in the clearing the rods, bringing out the, the dredges. Just an, it's one thing it's after chaos. Another. It's one it's, thing it's after the other. One thing after the other. We're keeping the spin of the boat. This, that, this, that. So. They hey, keep us on our toes. But we got it done. We got it done. Love That's it. all that matters. Beautiful chaos. That's that what that was. Awesome. Seeing these sailfish tail walking across the surface was a dream come true. Getting one boat side, the cherry on top. The colors of these fish are stunning with the deep blues and purples. The texture of the sail was a soft, fluid like silk. The feeling of battling these spirited beasts is difficult to describe. It's both a beautiful scene to witness and also an incredible rush. Their beauty and power is unmatched. These scenes are what sail fishing is all about. The thrill of the hunt, the eat, the fight. Witnessing a fiery fish catapult itself out of the water, thrashing in poetic motion. And then seeing them up close, tamed for just a moment, this experience is one I won't soon forget. And I look forward to my next dance with the sails. Dude, is that right, a wahoo? Right. Is that a wahoo? Oh That's my a huge god! Wahoo. Oh my god! Those were two 80-pound logs. I'm shaking right now. I think I like just shed a tear. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, but nothing happened.